Hello everyone. In previous video, I have talked about this function, run all tests. It will search all the tests that's available in current project and execute each one of them. So at this moment, if I run the program, it will execute six tests from four test case. This is nice. It will save me a lot of time of manually enumerating all the tests to be executed. However, sometimes this may not be what I want. For example, one of the tests, say the test pop, is broken. And I don't have time to fix it at this moment. But I want to continue with my development in other part of the program. Then what can I do? I can add disabled in front of the test name. This will temporarily disable this particular test. So if I run the test again, only five tests from four test case ran, and one test is disabled. This is good, but what if I want to temporarily disable lots of tests, and later on I will enable them again? Then changing the test name becomes clumsy. Another way to control the execution of the tests is through the command line. I right click, property, and go to debugging, and I can pass a command line argument to the test. G test future equal to say I want to test all the tests inside the stack test test case. Stack test dot star. So this will test all the tests under the test case of stack test. Okay. Run again. So only two tests from one test case ran, and that one test case is stack test. It also showed me the filter that I have used. There are also other command line arguments that is pretty useful. One of them is list tests. And now if we run the program, it will list all the tests that is available. And now if I want to run all the tests under the stack test and my stack test, then we can change the command line. gtest filter equal to stack test dot star comma. Comma means all my stack test dot star. So this will run all the tests under the test case of my star test and stack test. OK, run again. There are four tests has run. Now suppose I want to disable one of the tests, test pop2, with the command line. I can do minus my stack test dot test pop two. So this minus is used to remove a certain test. Run the test again, and there's only three tests from two test case ran, and this is the filter that I'm using. Let's see what else arguments that we can use. Another one is gtest repeat equal to say 30. This will repeat the test 30 times and it can be used together with other uh, arguments. gtest filter equal to stack test dot star. So this will repeat all the tests under stack test 
30 times. Another argument is shuffle. This will shuffle the test so that the test will be executed in a random order. And another one is called also run disabled tests. This will run all the tests, including those are disabled with the disabled keyword. So these are the commonly used command line arguments for Google Test. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.